Hi everyone, I'm Arabar and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as the goals. So, let's continue where we left off. The war is progressing nicely, but we're not even remotely close to done. Definitely not. I'm looking at Vladivostok. It would be awesome to destroy all these bombers inside. We'll see. I might be able to do that. If I leave it at full health and then attack it with all my rocket artillery at once. I have to take the city before Russia gets a chance to move these bombers out of it. But that's not going to happen for a few more turns. Let's focus on the units first. Let's see. Oh, also, one thing I can do is pop my great scientist to get combined arms and then upgrade my land ship. I have to move that land ship anyway. Regardless of what I do with my scientist, I can move him into Yakutsk. I'm thinking about just going straight for lasers. That's probably the best idea right now. Let's pop that great scientist. I won't get much more science out of him anyway. And I'll pop the great writer, obviously. I'll get Neuschwanstein in four turns. That should be worth quite a lot of happiness. Other than that, I think I have to protect this city a little bit better. With a bazooka, maybe with a rocket artillery. I think bazooka will be enough. Alright then. And I should be able to start attacking Edinburgh soon. In two or three turns, perhaps. I don't think the Kells have a lot of units that they could throw at me. Probably not. Definitely not. Also, that battleship inside Cardiff. And one more thing. These stupid city-state units are attacking me again because I'm at war with Jerusalem. I got one spare rocket artillery that I can use. So I'll just do that. And I can send a few workers to Truro because they aren't very useful here. And I could definitely use them in Truro. There are several trading posts on hills, so I want to replace them. And I should probably build a railroad to these cities just for mobility. And I can still get a few more improvements. They will be more useful here than back home. Upgrade. Let's see now. How many units can I kill? I probably want to kill that infantry first. I still want to liberate Florence, but that will have to wait. I will likely liberate Florence before going for Vladivostok. We'll see. I need to see how many more units Russia is going to throw at me. As for this battleship, I'm going to wait for my other battleship in Vienna. By the time I get that battleship, my second destroyer should be at full health. Then I can move with two destroyers and two battleships. Right, I have a lot of units that still need to move. Continue the railroad. Now. What do I want to prioritize? Probably the rocket artillery. And the bombers. Oh, I can kill this guy with a bomber. Alright. Looks good. I got bombardment free on my bombers. So they actually do more damage than my artillery. Slightly more damage. Not a lot more, but a bit more. And they do a lot more damage against units that aren't on open terrain. Because I mostly have accuracy on almost all of my artillery. I have like one with barrage. Yeah, this guy. He has barrage. This is mostly open terrain, but not all of it. Anyway, get rid of that rocket artillery. And one more. Then attack this guy. I can attack the bazooka once. I suppose that works. And focus on the bazooka. Or I can destroy the gunship. I should be able to do that easily. Yeah. Now I can do some extra damage to the bazooka. Maybe move out of the way. With the rocket artillery. Possibly. Yeah, okay, let's move. Attack this guy. And I think that's it. Paratrooper. I can attack him. With my rocket artillery. Like that. My battleship is very close to getting plus one range. That would be pretty awesome. Fortify until healed. Oh yeah, one more rocket artillery. I have quite a lot of firepower near Cardiff. 
he will stay on intercept. Move in a little bit. And looks like that's it on this turn. Two more turns? No, four more turns to get Neuschwanstein. Happiness won't be a problem anytime soon. I could take several cities and still be in the positives. Modica wants to give me a city. That's not the city I'm interested in. And Polynesia wants wine. I could give them wine. I prefer to get the money. Yeah, I don't need their favors. And they got enough money. Do I actually have two copies of wine? Oh, I'm getting one from a city-state. Yeah, that's it. I'm getting one from a city-state. No, I got two apparently, alright. Let's sell that then, 360. I could sell my vote. I need them to vote for freedom, and I'm going to vote for freedom myself. I'll just sell my freedom vote then. Let's see. I don't think I asked for enough, but whatever. We got some money. I should have asked for more gold per turn. Alright, I need to take care of these battleships before they do enough damage to my city. Wouldn't want to lose it, for obvious reasons. Attack this guy. Oh yeah, he's in range of my battleship? No, he's not. But he can be. From here. The parachuper at least. Rip. And kill that infantry. There we go. So. Move towards Edinburgh? Yep. I don't see many more units around here. I can attack Dublin just for experience. Because I can't do much else on this turn. Yeah, I'll attack it once, just for experience. I don't plan actually taking that city. I just want Edinburgh specifically. Move in a bit more. And we got logistics on yet another unit. This style looks safe. Yeah, it's out of bombardment range. And it's close enough to attack the city. Alright, I could attack Buffalo for experience. Yeah, sure. As for the workers, I want to replace all these stupid shading posts on hills. Should have done that earlier, but better late than never. Back to Russia. They are bringing even more bombers. Alright, nine bombers in Vladivostok. That's a lot of bombers. And we got cover 2 on the mobile sub. And bombardment 3. And more units. That's a great general. Let's take care of Alicia first. Yeah, these guys are getting on my nerves. I should be close enough to attack them now. Okay, get rid of that stupid mobile sum. I don't want them to pillage my luxuries. My happiness will be fine, but I don't want them to pillage anything. I will airlift this guy to Truro. He's more useful here, and I got more workers in that area. Back to Russia. I'll focus on the units for now. I can always take Florence anytime I want. Kill this guy and focus on that infantry. I have a lot of firepower here. What about that bazooka? Would be nice to kill it. Maybe I should move out of the city. Perhaps. I don't see any tanks though. I should be okay. I think I'll be okay. So, kill the infantry. I might be able to kill the bazooka if I use my bombers. Yeah, I can. Easily. Down it goes. And looks like that's it. Fortify until healed. I'll get a solar plant on the next turn. That's nice. I think I got some unit queued up. No. I got hotel, musician's guild and a cockpit. That's fine. Continue the railroad. And this turn is done. I could annex Yakutsk. I got 18 happiness and I'm about to get a lot more. But I'm also about to take a few big cities. Like Rostov, hopefully. I will go for Rostov and maybe even for Moscow after Vladivostok. I'll keep my happiness for new cities. I might even stay at war with Russia permanently to take all the capital cities they have. I see no reason to sign a peace treaty with Russia. 
I need Beijing, I need Onondaga, I need Karakorum, and I need Moscow itself. And once I take all that, I'll just need Honolulu, which is going to be a one-turn deal. Oh, we got logistics on the bomber, awesome. That's even better. Wow, this bomber is pretty scary now. Bombardment free, air repair, and logistics. Let's see. Do I have any targets other than this guy? He's a little bit too close to other cities. Let's try air sweep first. Oh, am I too far away? No, I'm not. One more. No resistance. Okay, I can attack him now. Not sure if I can kill him, but I can try. I don't want him to run away. He is almost dead. Can I reach him? I need plus one range to do that. Who has plus one range? You do. No, that's a little bit too much. I can attack him with a fighter. No, I use my fighters to air sweep. Well, I can't kill him now. I don't think so. No, I can't reach him. I'll start attacking Vladivostok. Or I'll start attacking Florence. Yeah, I should focus on Vladivostok with all my artillery in one turn. Because otherwise, if I start doing damage and bring it down to yellow, Russia might move their bombers out of the city. I don't want that. I want to destroy these bombers. Can I get vision on Florence? Mm, no, I can't. Nope. Okay, whatever. I could if I move one more, but then I'll have to relieve my rocket artillery in the bombardment range of the city. I could use my tank, but that's too risky. It's still in the yellow. I'll attack the archaeologist just to not waste experience. He will move closer. I'm not too happy about this turn, but it's fine. If I had plus one range on this guy, that would be enough to reach that infantry. I let him live. He might use heal instantly or something like that. But then we'll just kill him. Rip. And rip. Mines. Okay, I should repair that manufactory. That seems useful. Mobile Sam. I'll move it out of the city for now. It's back to full health. And one of my tiles got pillaged. What's that? That's a mine. Alright, we'll repair it. Let's get some experience from Buffalo. I could liberate that city. I might do it. I'm not sure if I'll have enough time. We'll see. I can't reach that. Okay, the Kells still have quite a few units. But that's not going to help them. No, definitely not. Still, I need to back up slightly. Let's not risk actually losing anything. I don't think it's safe to attack it with the fighter. It doesn't look like it. Let's use Earth Sweep. No, there's still one more fighter. Oh, it encountered no resistance. Oh well, whatever. Move or attack? I think I should move. Yeah, I should move. I'll let them come to me. Fortify, fortify. Grab a mine. Yep, I'll just let them come to me. I can attack with this guy. The battleship will wait. Yes, continue that railroad. What are you looking at? Still seven bombers in Vladivostok. I need them to stay there. More promotions. The battleships are moving away. Alright. I still want my plus one range on that bazooka. I think it needs two more experience. Yeah, 98 out of 100. It needs one more shot. Then it will get plus one range. That would be nice to get. What is this tank doing? Having a death wish. Rip. So, back to Edinburgh. What's this infantry doing? Well, now he's in range of my battleship. I still want that plus one range. I need what? Two more attacks? 
Yeah, I can just get that from Buffalo. And we got logistics. Very nice. Really? I can't get vision? There we go. Looks good. No more targets here. I'll just move it towards Buffalo or something. Yeah, I want that plus one range. And back to Edinburgh. What's this unit? A bomber. I don't really care. Let's see. Oh, also, Courthouse on the next turn. That should give me some nice extra happiness. Kill this guy. Yep. Might as well. Fortify until healed. Another mine. And... So, Vladivostok. I can take it on the next turn. With the mobile sum. Or with my tank. It's at 80 hit points. I'll just take it with the tank. That seems like a safer option. Alright, I'll take it with the tank. Meanwhile, we can focus on Florence. And that infantry. There are four bombers in Florence too. Russia has a lot of bombers. Alright. It's not going to help them. Kill this dude. Attack Florence. Yep, just focus on Florence on this turn. This is out of range, but... I can still attack. No other targets. I can attack the destroyer. Not like the destroyer is a threat. But it's experience. Now I can attack Florence one more time. There we go. I should be able to liberate it on the next turn. Pillage this. And I can actually back up to be out of range. One more attack. But nothing is in range. Can I move? Yes, that's a grassland. I can't see what's going on inside the fog of war, but I assume Russia doesn't have units here next to Honolulu. Otherwise, Honolulu would be taking damage. Or they would still be flipping the city back and forth. But they aren't. Fortify. Are we done with this turn yet? No. Let's just repair. I don't see any good targets. It will be pointless attacking the destroyers. Yeah, I don't want to take damage from that. Remove some of these roads. They aren't useful. Rip. They are actually trying to take the city? How cute. Cargo ship. To something. To Polynesia. Done. Or not? Oh yeah, I can still move and attack. No, I can't attack. I'm out of range. Alright, now we're done with this turn. That's a lot of combat spam. We damaged a Russian bomber. And we got Neuschweinstein. That's very free happiness. Not bad. And we're about to get plus one range. That should be plus one range on the next turn. Making that bazooka much more useful, to say the least. That's my first bazooka with plus one range in this game, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sad. But hey, at least I got one. Okay, the Kells still have quite a few units. But I also have a lot of firepower. <laughs> Move or wait for them to come to me? I can wait for them to come to me. I'm not in a huge rush. And this is good experience. Down he goes. Yeah, the Kells don't really stand a chance. Any more targets? No, I would have to mob. They do have a railroad. I think I'd rather not mob. Also, that promotion for a battleship, I still want that. Is this enough? For plus one range? No, I need one more experience. At least I'll get that on the next turn. Then I can mob him back into Cardiff and I'll have extra range. We got air repair for the fighter, nice. Take an intercept for now. And one extra interception. Oh, one thing I should do is start moving my carrier to Truro. Because then I can move the fighters back to the main continent. They will be much more useful there. I got a carrier in Harar. It's going to take 9 turns to actually get here. Oh well, that's okay. 
I won't need fighters here anymore. I already don't really need them all that much. The Kells have one bomber and that's it. But once I take an Inboro, I won't need them here at all. They will be pretty useless. And I can't move them back to my main continent without a carrier. Get a mine. Okay, back to Russia. What can we do? Oh wow, I almost lost my rocket artillery. That was not so great. Let's hide in Samoa. I probably can't take Vladivostok on this turn. That's so many units protecting it. But it's fine, it can wait. Kill this. Now, bombers. I could use air sweep. But my fighters are still useful against all these Russian bombers. That's a lot of bombers. I think I'd rather keep them on intercept. Yeah, that's a much better idea. And oh, we got what? Cover one. Yep, I'll take that. Florence will have to wait too. But surely Russia is slowly running out of units. Let's just check the military score or we can check the graph. Yep, they are slowly running out of units. How about this one? <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, treasury. I bet they spent most of this gold to buy units. They started spending money around the time this war started. They probably just bought a lot of units. They might have bought a lot of nukes. There's no way they built all these nukes that they had. They had at least 10 nukes. I bet they just bought a few. Anyway, that's their problem. Let's see. I can kill this with my mechanized infantry. That seems like a better idea. I will be in bombardment range of Florence, but that should be fine. I do have cover one. I should be okay. Famous last words. Now, the gunships. Attack the other one with a bomber. Like that, and then I can attack the marine. I don't think that's very safe. I will get intercepted. Okay, only 18 damage, it's fine. And I can kill this guy too. Rip. Fortify until healed. One more turn to get that extra battleship. And repair some of these tiles. I'll just have to protect that worker for a moment. Cover one and keep attacking the units, if only for experience. And I should still airlift that one worker to Truro. He won't be very useful here. Are we done? Fortify until healed. Destroyer is back to full health. Okay, this turn is done. How many cities does Russia have? 30 cities. That's a lot of cities. And that's a lot of combat spam. Oh yeah, I got influence with Brussels because they wanted me to construct Neuschweinstein. That's nice. I could kick Polynesia out of the city and get allied with them myself. For 500? Probably not worth it. That's the plus hand range on the bazooka. But anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue the next one. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.